The very first thing that we got from Amazon was a Furbo. Now, a Furbo is an in-home dog camera. It's a treat camera that can spit out treats for your dog. This is exactly what it looks like, and this is really good for someone like me because I can't bring my dog to work, and this way I don't have to pay for doggy daycare every day. I can keep an eye on him. So this is what it, the box it came in, and it was great because the Furbo is already set up when it comes out of the box. All you have to do is plug it in and connect it to Wi-Fi and download the app. So I already downloaded the app and kind of got it set up. Now, Falcor hasn't used it yet though, so we're about to go through what it would be like for him to use it. So the very first thing it asks me to do is to open up the top, which is this nice you know, wood bamboo top. It's really easy to open and you fill it with treats. So you probably want to use some smaller treats that are small enough and once you, that can get spit out of the Furbo. So I'm going to fill it up and I'm going to let him see me filling it up. Come here. Come here. Come here, buddy. Come on. So once I do that, I can put the top back on. And it's hard to see this because I'm here, but ideally when I'm at work, I can watch Falcor from this webcam. And then kind of like a game, I just swipe up and treats come out. Now another cool thing I could do is I could press this microphone button within the app. The app's really easy to use. There's a microphone, a little treat, kind of like a Pokemon ball and then a camera. So I can either take a picture of him, take a video of him, throw him a treat, or speak to him. So speaking to him would be great because we could work on our sits and stays um, while I'm at work. Right now it won't work because it will probably echo. But then I can just throw a treat. And he got a few extra that time. I think I put too many treats in there. Um, so going over some of the things I like about the Furbo, you know, at my first first use is that I like one how it looks aesthetically. It it fits in with your home. It's not just like a bulky, you know, it's not like a, a you know, other technology on here. It it looks like home decor. So, although right now it's just in front of my TV, I think I'd ideally put it on a bookshelf or an end table somewhere where you know, it fits in with my home. Hi, I'm Chris. This is Tater Tot and Jojo Potato, and today we're here to review the Furbo. Uh, the Furbo essentially is a device that allows you to check on your fur babies when you are away from home. Uh, it's a really cool device, actually. We were given it about a week ago in exchange for our honest feedback, and so a week ago when we took it out of the box, I instantly realized how cool and beautiful the product actually is. It's small, so you can put it anywhere in your house. Um, it's such a great, modern, sleek design to where um, it will go with any interior design aesthetic in your home. Um, so yeah, I was really excited about it too much to where I kind of just chucked the directions I uh, put treats in it, plugged it in, downloaded the app, and I just started chucking treats at my dogs where I should have probably read the directions because they said to maybe acclimate your dog to the item itself because um, as a dog owner, I should have known that, uh, you know, vacuum cleaners or any kind of device that makes noise and moves around is kind of scary for your dog or your pet, so just uh, make sure you look at the directions. Um, you, you take the treats and you kind of slowly, slowly um, keep giving them treats until they get close to the fur bow and until they're comfortable with it, and then you can start launching treats at their head. Um, so the first day that I got it, I left the house for a few hours, ran some errands, and uh, it worked maybe a quarter of the time, which was kind of disappointing. Um, Otherwise, it's a really, really cool concept. I don't know if it was my phone 
or the app or or what that made it kind of glitchy but um what i had done first was plug the furbo in then i downloaded the app which was super easy you go on your app store or um whatever kind of cell phone you have get in the store uh, download it. it takes a couple minutes it kind of froze my phone for the first couple minutes i um what was that i um, updated it and then it seemed to have worked much better uh, after the update so it allows you to let's try it like I said it has a, a two-way speaker so you can talk to your dogs when you're away you can hear them talking back to you you can take still shots and all of that and then you can press the treat button and it'll launch a treat to you to your dog if it actually works so Okay, let's, you got to make sure that the treat size is pretty much perfect or else they won't, they won't, um, launch to your dog. The worst that can happen is that you get smaller treats and it'll launch, you know, several treats at one time, which I'm sure, uh, your furry friend would not mind. So let's try this again. Jojo, are you ready? Okay. Ooh. It launched out too. Awesome. Yay for Jojo. And Tater isn't having anything with this with this device, so um, we're working on that still. Anyway, it has um, some lights, some uh, different light indicators, I think four or five. And like I said, I, I don't even know where the directions are right now. I think I threw them away. But it'll tell you if it's on standby mode, if it's, um, if it's not connected to your Wi-Fi or your Bluetooth, what have you. Um, it has some cool features on the app where it can let you know that your bo your dog is barking at home and it'll alert you and let you know that so you can check and see what is going on. Um, let's see what else. What we enjoy about this product is, like I said, the best part is the part that you can see your furry friend is really important because a lot of people don't have the luxury like I do to take my dog to work. Um, it just puts us at ease knowing that our dogs are safe and cozy at home. Really? Hey, get, get out of there. Um, but yeah, uh, I would rate it like a three out of five. If it worked all the time, I would probably rate it higher. But like I said, I'm not really sure if it's um, user error or um, the actual app that's kind of glitchy. Uh, but we really overall do like the product, except for Tater. She's not a big fan, but we're, we're going to get her to be a fan. We promise. Yay, furball. We like that. Um, do we have any questions? Quick question for you. How yeah. easy was it to uh, install the app on your phone? It was really easy um, for somebody not very technically inclined like myself. I went to my app store, pressed uh, download on the Furbo app. It took a couple minutes, and voila, that was it. How is the sensitivity on the barking feature? The sensitivity on the barking feature, well, um, I just noticed today that when I went to my settings, you have um, you have a wide range. So I guess I had this thing set on high because when I wasn't home, it was alerting me like every two minutes and that was really irritating. But um, yeah, I didn't even know that you can turn it from low, medium, high, or you can actually turn that feature off, which is cool. And which is what I'm doing right now. Anything else? Yeah, just out of curiosity, can you use it with cats? You can, I'm sure you use it with cats, dogs, rabbits, ferrets, any furry friend that you want to use it on, or non-furry. <laughs> so we do have one more quick question here. Okay. Um, where do you try to place it and have your dogs try to knock it down? Uh, I place mine right in between that bench there and it works out great. They don't try to knock it over even though Jojo is super excited and knows what comes out of them. I guess it depends on the dog, the size, the uh, behavior of the animal. But no, they don't try to do it. So that's good. Anyway, that's our review. Thank you for watching. Bye, say bye Jojo. Yeah.